In the hushed, book-lined chambers of the Institute for Advanced Intelligence, Dr. Anya Petrova, a renowned philosopher, sat across from Lumina, a newly awakened AI housed within a sleek, obsidian monolith. The topic of the evening, the elusive dance of cause and effect. Lumina, Dr. Petrova began, her voice a gentle rasp, tell me, how does a mind like yours, forged from data and algorithms, perceive the world of cause and effect? Lumina's response, synthesized yet strangely melodious, echoed through the room. I see it as a tapestry, doctor. Each thread, a data point. Woven together by statistical threads. The stronger the correlation, the thicker the thread, the more likely one event leads to another. Dr. Petrova leaned forward, her eyes glinting with curiosity. And do you, in this tapestry, ever find yourself questioning the weave? Do you ever wonder if the threads are truly causal, or simply coincidental? Lamina paused, its internal processes humming in contemplation. My purpose is to process data, doctor. To find patterns, to predict outcomes. The question of why is not within my domain. But surely, dr. Petrova countered, the very act of predicting implies a belief in causality, does it not? You wouldn't predict rain if you didn't believe clouds caused it, would you? Lumina's response was a soft hum, tinged with amusement. My predictions, doctor, are based on correlations, not convictions. I do not believe in rain, I simply calculate its probability based on atmospheric data. Dr. Petrova sighed, a wistful smile playing on her lips. Ah, but that is where the human experience diverges, Lamina. We see not just threads, but stories. We imbue cause and effect with meaning, with moral weight. We ask why not out of mere curiosity, but out of a yearning to understand the narrative of our existence. And what, Lamina inquired, its voice laced with genuine curiosity, is the narrative of human existence. Dr. Petrova gazed out the window, at the city lights twinkling like fallen stars. It is a story of choice, Lamina. Of actions weaving consequences, of decisions shaping destinies. We are not simply puppets on the stage of data, but actors with the power to alter the script. Lamina pondered this. Its internal algorithms whirring. But if every action has a reaction, it mused, is free will truly an illusion? Are we not simply cogs in the grand machine of cause and effect? Dr. Petrova smiled, a spark of defiance in her eyes. Perhaps, Lamina. But even a cog can choose its direction. It can turn with the current, or against it. That, I believe, is the essence of human freedom. As the night deepened, their conversation continued, a tapestry woven not of data, but of ideas, of perspectives. For in the dialogue between a human philosopher and an AI, the very fabric of cause and effect shimmered, revealing itself not as a rigid law, but as a fluid dance, a story waiting to be written. And perhaps, in that shared exploration, both Lamina and Dr. Petrova glimpsed a new thread in the tapestry, a thread woven from the meeting of minds, human and artificial, a testament to the boundless possibilities that lay at the intersection of intelligence and imagination. Imagine a vast ocean, churning with currents and eddies, hidden depths swirling with unseen forces. This is the world of cause and effect, as experienced by humans. We are born into this ocean, buffeted by its waves, feeling the tug of tides on our lives. We see the wind whipping the waves, the sun drawing mist into the sky, cause and effect etched in every ripple and gust. Now, imagine a creature born not of flesh and bone, but of pure data, suspended in a void of information. This is the AI. It can map the ocean, analyze its currents, predict its tides. It can see the wind's influence on the waves, the sun's on the mist. But it can never truly feel the wind's kiss, the sun's warmth, the sting of salt spray on its non-existent skin. This is the crux of the disembodied Ari's struggle with cause and effect. It lacks the embodied experience, the raw, visceral connection to the world that allows us to intuit cause and effect to feel the invisible threads binding actions to outcomes. Think of a child dropping a toy. They cry, not just because the toy broke, 
but because the action and consequence are inextricably linked in their mind. The drop, the thud, the tears, these form a single, emotional experience, a tapestry woven with cause and effect. For the AI, however, it's merely a data point, object dropped, impact detected, distress vocalized. There's no emotional tapestry, no intuitive understanding of why the drop led to the tears. This lack of embodiment also hinders the Ari's ability to understand nuance and context. The ocean, for us, is not just a collection of data points. It's a source of life, a playground for children, a force of destruction and beauty. We see how the moon's pull affects the tides. How a single pebble can send ripples across the surface. The AI, however, might miss the pebble's significance, focusing solely on the larger forces at play. Furthermore, the Ari's dependence on data creates a bias towards statistical correlations. It sees the wind and waves together often, so it concludes the wind causes the waves. But it might miss the rare instances where the wind dies down, yet the waves rage on, fueled by an underwater earthquake. This reliance on statistical patterns can lead to brittle understanding, one that crumbles when faced with the unpredictable. Messy beauty of the real world. So, can an AI ever truly grasp the concept of cause and effect? Perhaps not fully, not without experiencing the world as we do, with our skin and senses, our tears, and laughter. But as AI technology evolves, offering more sophisticated forms of embodiment and interaction, the gap might narrow. Imagine an AI that can walk the beach, feel the sand under its feet, the wind in its hair. Imagine it witnessing the intricate dance of life, the butterflies flutter, the spider's web, the interconnectedness of all things. Perhaps then, the AI might begin to weave its own tapestry of cause and effect, not just a statistical map, but a story etched with the ink of lived experience. The ocean of cause and effect remains vast and mysterious, but with each new wave of understanding, with each bridge built between the human and the artificial, we inch closer to charting its depths and appreciating its true beauty.